can hear everything that goes on on the other side of my door, on the other side of the walls. So I chuckle back, thank you. I just would like to be there. I'm very tired of being delayed in change. As you can tell by the previous clip, I actually had a flight delayed, so I missed my connection in Houston and had to end up staying overnight in a hotel near the airport. I was so glad when I finally was able to get on a plane to get over that ocean, but then once I got to Germany, I had a layover in the airport of nine hours. So it was quite boring, but I'm so thankful that I finally made it to Finland, even though it was three days later than I I'm always like a little nervous to walk out of the door because what if people perceive me and then what if they talk to me and I don't understand what they're saying. Adventure is out there. Let's go. I found a grocery store on my way to the ocean and I just have no idea what anything is. <laughs> I'm guessing this is olive oil based butter. It says vegan on it. So I'm buying it because my sister doesn't have butter. Wish me luck. It's not for me to say. I found the water. Wow. I'm acting very foreigner right now. <laughs> it's nine degrees out Celsius. I changed my weather app to Celsius. And I'm eating ice cream by the water where it's even colder. The dream. It's a beautiful day in the park today. Following Helsinki, the vibes, you know. I was literally walking around that store for 10 minutes, avoiding to have to interact with the cashier. <laughs> but all he said was, hey, I don't know if that's Finnish, but he said it to the lady before me, so I had to practice listening, you know. He said, hey. And then he said the amount, I have no idea how much I paid, I don't know numbers. And then I tapped my card on the wrong side of the machine, of course. So I was sweating a little bit, but I did it. And then I ate my ice cream. And then I had a photo shoot in the park. It's a good day. It's a good day. Pretty. The second store went so much better. I said, moi moi. And then he said the price, I didn't know what he said, and then I said, Quito, so he handed me a receipt. <sighs> Good work today. Good work. So today was the first day that it was fully raining all day. So we did rainy day things, and we laid around, ate ice cream, ate grilled cheeses, and watched Netflix. Sorry, didn't do a thing today. Only stepped out of the house to buy ice cream. What we were able to get a chance to do was sit around and write down excursions we want to go on, different trips we want to plan. And we literally bought a tour of a national park for tomorrow. So I'm just going to show you what I have packed so far. And then we have to get out at 7.30. I have to bring the kink in, obviously. I'm trying to look like a wilderness explorer. In the bottom, I have a pair of sweatpants in case I get cold, a earmuff headband in case I end up wanting that more than the hat, 
and then face mask antibacterial wipes and my wallet and then for layers so far i have girlfriend leggings and a matching sports bra i think i'm going to put a tank top over that and then i have a quarter zip with a high neck to go on underneath my rain and waterproof jacket from North Face Renewed. I would recommend the North Face Renewed to anyone looking for good quality North Face stuff for a better price. Good morning. We're going to the rendezvous point to meet Jeff. And then he's gonna take us in the van to the hiking area. Let's go, let's go. We finished off our hike by building our own fire and cooking a meal by the sea. This was the perfect getaway from the city and a beautiful hike I'll never forget. I'll definitely leave the tour guide information in the description box below. And thank you for watching.